with just some cardstock, your scissors, some glue or double sided tape, you can make these paper stars by hand. So let me show you how. I created two different stars and the first star I'll be sharing is this four pointed star. For both stars that I will be sharing, both of them need two sheets of 12 by 12 inch cardstock paper. And the reason why I'm using 12 by 12 inch cardstock paper is because I want my stars to be as big as they can be. And plus for this first star, we need the paper to be a square anyways. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the first star. So we are first going to fold this in half, then in half again to create four squares within our paper. Taking a corner, I'm folding it in half and creasing it to create a triangle. Open it up and fold it again to create another triangle. Looking at the square, we are going to make four small snips. These will be at the vertical and horizontal points. Using my scissors, I cut no more than an inch and a half into the paper. With one of the points pointing upwards, I am taking this piece and folding it inwards towards the point. I'm creating a sort of triangle where the slit was made. Taking this other piece, we are going to do the same by folding it inwards. I found that creating two perfect triangles isn't the easiest thing to do, but that's okay. As long as you fold it down, you'll see in the next step that it'll come together nicely. Repeat this to all the other points of the paper. For this next step, you can either use glue or double-sided tape. I'm gonna use double-sided tape and I am placing a strip on to one of the triangle folds. Now with the other, I am overlapping it and holding it so it sticks together. Repeat this to all four points of the paper. The triangle pieces don't have to perfectly overlap one another because as you finish and flip it over, you'll see that it creates a nice 3D effect. You can reinforce the creases by squeezing and pressing together the star. This is only one half of the star, so we're gonna do the exact same to the other sheet of 12 by 12 inch cardstock. So let's quickly fast forward through that. For reference, this is the outcome of a mini version of the star, so we are going to recreate that with the bigger pieces. The two halves won't be glued directly on top of each other, but a little offset. With some hot glue, I am adding glue to only the points where the other half will touch. Then I am simply placing the other half of the star on top like so and holding it in place until the glue sets. If you see some areas that need more glue, you can just squeeze a little bit more into the area to help it stick together. I wanted to mention that if you do have a cutting machine like the Cricut, I do have the SVG files for both stars down below. It basically just has all the score and cut lines for you to use and just makes it a little bit easier. But still, I'm gonna show you how to do it by hand. So let's move on to the second star. With another set of 12 by 12 inch cardstock papers, I am taking one of the papers and folding it in half to make a triangle. I then folded it across to make another triangle. Open it back up and take the point and fold it down. Since this is such a large piece of paper, I like to use something like a marker to crease the paper. Opening it up again, I am taking this right side piece and folding it towards the center point. Next, looking at this point right here, we can take the left side piece and fold it towards that point. Fold it down and crease it. Then take the same piece and fold it backwards into a triangle. It should also line up with the paper behind it. With the right hand piece, we are taking it and folding it into a triangle as well, meeting the fold we just made. Crease it on both sides and you'll see how it comes together in just a moment. Now taking the paper in both hands, fold it in half backwards and crease it. So by now, this is how the paper in front of me looks like and we are going to get our scissors to cut across. I'm gonna cut at an angle so that it ends at this point here. Go ahead and cut across and you should come out with a triangle. You can of course cut off more after your initial cut. Now that we have a nice triangle piece, open it up and you'll see the star that you created. Similar to the first star that we did, I am snipping five times all around. Then after snipping, I am taking these pieces and folding it towards the center, creating a sort of triangle. Do this to both sides of each point. The points of the star should end up looking like this. I repeated the same to the other sheet of cardstock and now we have two halves of the star. We are putting them together by adding glue to the folds that we made and placing them on top of each other. Add glue and press firmly to all five points. And to puff it back up into a 3D star, you can squeeze it slightly all around. 
The second star is definitely a little trickier and takes some practice, so I suggest maybe trying this on some computer paper before doing your final thing on cardstock. Here's a side-by-side -side of what the star looks like doing it by hand versus doing it with a Cricut. I'd say that personally, I like making the first star by hand and the second star with my Cricut because getting that perfect star shape can sometimes be tricky, but both can definitely be done either way by hand or with a cutting machine. Definitely don't have to make a star this big. You can of course start off small and get some practice there. But now let me show you how I hung up these stars as Christmas decor. If you saw my previous video, I had this wall decorated for Halloween, but it is now time to change it up. So I rearranged my shelves and hung up the garlands using some command hooks. With one of the stars, I took a needle and poked a hole through the tippy top of the star. I then poked a clear fishing line through the hole and double knotted it. I did this for all the stars. Then to hang it up, I just took some tape and taped it to the ceiling. You can arrange them however you'd like. I just staggered them and adjusted their heights. The tape on the ceiling isn't the most aesthetically pleasing thing to look at right now, but I think I'll go back and use these command hooks that stick to the ceiling. But for now, they are holding up pretty nicely. They're not too heavy anyway, so I don't foresee them falling anytime soon. And for my Be Merry sign, I DIY'd it by adding vinyl letters from my Cricut to these acrylic sheets. And this pretty much created a nice life-size letter board. So now you know two ways that you can create paper stars by hand and they could be used not only for the holidays, but anytime really. I hope you give these a try and I hope to see you in my next video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.